Hi, I'm Cat McLeod with Layered Escapes. I've just returned from our Italian back roads to Mizano track and tour trip. But before I unpack all the stuff I brought back with me from Rome, I thought I'd do in another video about what's in the tour guide's bag. People got a lot of good information apparently out of my last video that I made in Sydney. So here's a few more items that I always bring with me to give you some strategies on packing successfully for your next track and tour with Layout Escapes. Okay, first off, let's talk about bags themselves. I have a two bag strategy on these track and tour trips. The first bag is a duffel bag. This is where my bulky tour and track gear goes. Uh, I put my boots, my leathers, my touring gear, tops, bottoms, pants, I put my rain gear in here. Then, when I get to the destination, I pull out my touring gear and my rain gear, and I wear that on the tour, but I leave my track gear inside the duffel bag. That way, we can leave that duffel bag on the luggage truck, or in case of Australia, we just send it on down to Phillip Island. In the other bag, I put my helmet, camera, clothes, everything else goes in here. On these bags, you generally want to purchase a bag that's lightweight and durable. Remember, for the airlines now, it's all about weight, not necessarily size. All right, let's get into this, some more of the individual items that I always bring with me. All right, first off, hotel laundry is the price we have to pay for packing light, enjoying ourselves on a motorcycle. So anytime I'm staying in a hotel for, uh, geez, two nights, I always do laundry, and in that case, I need a grunt line, uh, laundry line, that I string somewhere up in the hotel room. These things also work well if you get little suction cups so you can stick them to various bits of tile inside the shower so you can dry your stuff out. Always really handy. All right, second item that I always bring with me now, data plans on your locked American cell phone are really expensive. And let's face it, when you're abroad, you're probably gonna be doing more checking on Facebook, checking email, sending photos, you're doing more data transfers now than you will be talking on the phone. And that adds up and gets costly. So what I do is I have one of these little Hyundai uh, mobile Wi-Fi devices that has a 3G or 4G SIM card inside it with a plan that's a hell of a lot cheaper in the local country that I'm going to. You can pick up SIM cards always at local airports as soon as you arrive, or you can get them before you go on the trip. These little items work out really well and keep your data costs low when you're trying to share all the fun parts of your trip with your friends back home. And speaking of electronic devices, do you remember 20 years ago when we didn't have all this electronic stuff? We used to be able to pack light. Now we've got all this extra stuff we have to pack. And one of the things that's a real pain is all the extra cables. Well, just about everything charges off of USB this handy cable comes with a micro and a mini USB-N. So I only need one cable for two devices that I can charge over time. So these really keep the cable space low and keep from getting tangled inside your bag. All right, next item is my Bobax uh, travel jacket. You want that one travel layer that's gonna be water repellent and really useful. Well, believe it or not, all those things you saw on Facebook, I bought into it and it really does work. Appropriate pockets for spare batteries for your cell phone, big giant pockets uh, for large travel documents when you're on the plane. Uh, the hood works out really well instead of having an umbrella. Even has a drop down piece to cover your eyes if you wanna sleep on the plane. Some handy little tiny micro pockets so that you can keep your headphones inside your jacket. It's just a really thought, really well thought out garment and we're really liking it and this will be the third time we've used this on tour. So for a single base layer that works everywhere, we're absolutely loving this jacket. All right, this is what I call my ah oh, hell be that way bag. This is my bag that I pull out when weather starts to get bad. As tour guides, we can't control the weather, but if our clients and ourselves are prepared for bad weather, eh, it doesn't matter. That's why I call it, oh hell, be that way. So inside it, I always pack my rain suit. I always pack my Motoport K 
Kevlar waterproof gloves. These things are great. I've had these things for four years. They still look brand new. You cannot wear these things out. They're freaking tougher than leather. I absolutely love them. Very comfortable. And more importantly, on the fingertip, I always include a thumb squeegee because, you know, it's going to rain. <laughs> And finally, it has happened a few times, pretty rarely, but if you want to pack light while you're on a tour, but make sure you stay warm, it's all about bringing along the Adventure Heat heated gear. Absolutely love this stuff. It's kept me warm in a couple places where we really didn't think it was going to get cold, but it did. So I always bring my Adventure Heat liner with me. And finally, you're going out to dinner in a foreign destination. You want to have a nice button-down shirt, but you don't want to have something you have to iron. You want something that's cool, that's going to dry quickly, slightly rain repellent. Here it is. This is a Columbia Men's Global Traveler shirt. I've had this shirt for four years. Got it custom embroidered, but you don't have to. Uh, we absolutely love this thing. And again, the link for this and all the items I've mentioned are in the notes below. So this is Cat McLeod with Layered Escapes, hoping to see you on our next tour with Track Time.